guys, DeAndre A. here, and welcome to another episode of Subtract Reactions, where we subtract the bullshit and give you guys honest reactions. So I was scrolling through YouTube and I actually found this really crazy video, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the new Star Wars movie, why the fuck have you not seen it? You need to stop this video and go watch the fucking movie, man. But this is Lego Han Solo versus Kylo Ren, full version, spoiler. Han Solo death scene by WLA. Now obviously this is the huge major fucking plot point in the new Star Wars movie. This is like the most memorable scene probably out of all the Star Wars movies that has come out so far. You know what I mean? Just because it's such a big fucking scene and it's so powerful. You know what I mean? I'll speak more about how I feel about this later but uh, let's just go ahead and see what this is all about. Let's jump into it guys. This looks very professional. Take off that mask. You don't need it. What do you think you Oh man, now? this is like a straight That's fucking fun. shot for shot scene. Oh my god. I gotta fucking relive this fucking scene. Oh my god! Ah. Your son, <sighs> he's gone. He was weak and foolish, like his father. So I destroyed him. That's what Snoke wants you to believe. But it's not true. My son is alive. No. The Supreme Leader is wise. Snoke is using you for your power. When he gets what he wants, he'll crush you. <sighs> you just wish you could tell Kylo Ren. Like, everything yeah, Han Solo is telling him is true, man. He's using you. Look what happened to Darth. If you only knew what happened, man. It's too late. Oh, it's not. It's not. Me. Oh, as soon as the scene started in the movies, I knew what was going to happen. I was like, fuck. I already know this is what's going to happen, man. I want to be free of this pain. I don't know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Will you help me? Yes, anything. Dude, you're like killing it right now. Animation's perfect. Oh my god, I hate this scene so much, man. This part right here. When the camera zooms in and the light goes away. Oh, man. Ah, God. It's not fair, man. You know, that was a really good animation, man. That was a great animation, but still, it's a really fucking powerful scene in the universe of Star Wars. You know, Star Wars is very notorious for having metaphors and having different kinds of emotional themes buried throughout their films. To me personally, I feel like Han Solo's death, it's a metaphor for, you know, death in real life, you know what I mean? Because everyone, that you love, everyone that I love, everyone that we all love, you know, as much as that person may mean to you or mean to me, 
you know, they are a mortal being, you know what I mean? They're a human being, just like you, just like me. And ultimately that time's gonna come where they're not gonna be there anymore, you know what I mean? And it is very tough when those times come, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure you can relate to losing a family member. But Han Solo's death, to me personally, kind of symbolizes death in the celebrity field right now. Because think about it, Han Solo, Harrison Ford, Carrie, and George Lucas, and Mark Hamill, you know what I mean? They're all in their golden years, and you know, they're human. And you know, one day, that day will come, you know, people don't like to talk about death. But I mean, it is kind of a thing with Star Wars, you know, that day is going to come where they're not going to be there anymore. And it's going to be very hard when that day comes. A lot of fans around the world are going to be very sad. And you can interpret death however you want to interpret. But to me, you know, when I lose someone that's very close to me, just like how here when I lost Han Solo, it's very fucking sad, you know what I mean? But I feel like over time we will move on and you know it's been a while since I've seen this film and yeah Han Solo dies it's a very very fucking sad scene and it's a big fucking moment in Star Wars but I feel like over time the wounds will heal we will get over it you know what I mean Star Wars episode 8 is going to come out Star Wars episode 9 is going to come out you know what I mean the Star Wars story is not over we still have a fantastic journey ahead of us you know what I mean but in terms of Han Solo's death being a metaphor I really just feel like it's a sense of you know, there are people that you're going to look up to that will one day disappear and they're not going to be there anymore. And when that day comes, you really do have to kind of internalize that. And, you know, at the end of the day, you have to move on. Don't look at how they died. You know what I mean? Look at how they lived their life. You know what I mean? Celebrate their life, you know? And I really do feel like that's, to me at least, to me, that's the message that that scene is right there. You know, it's a very sad fucking scene. I'm like, fuck no, Han. And when Chewbacca screams, Grrr! I'm like, no, Chewie, no, Chewie, no. Ah, oh, man, it's just, it's, it, it really does kind of evoke these emotions in you, you know what I mean? And when you really do kind of start dissecting the scene and when you start peeling back all the layers and when you start uncovering the metaphors and uncovering all the themes that's hidden in the scenes of Star Wars, it can, uh, it can hit you, you know what I mean? And so, I really do, to me personally, that's how I feel that scene with Star Wars resonates with me, you know what I mean? And yeah, <laughs> I guess that, that's cool, man, it's cool. I was just scrolling on YouTube and I found that video and, you know what I mean, I decided to watch it and it's crazy how I kind of like dissected that fucking scene right there because that was a really crazy scene, man. That was a powerful scene. And, I'm pretty sure different people took it different ways. When I saw it for the first time in theaters, I did cry. I was with my aunt and my two brothers. I cried, man. I cried. It was very quick. I know a lot of people said that it happened so fast, so they really didn't have a sense of, you know, taking in what just happened on the screen. But for me, as soon as that lightsaber went through him, my heart fucking just stopped. My breathing was just like, ugh, like my stomach went in my throat. And I cried in the theaters, man. Like tears are fucking coming out my face. But to be honest, as soon as like you see Kylo Ren standing on the bridge and you know, Han Solo's looking at him and the camera angles and stuff and the lighting, you know there's some shit about to happen. You know what I mean? You know something's about to go down. So it's very clever how Star Wars executes their scenes. And uh, yeah, man, you did a really good job in that animation. That was nice. You really did capture that emotion in there. You captured that spirit of Star Wars. Very sad scene, and uh, yeah, man, I like that. But as always, guys, if you like my reaction, then be sure to like and share this video for me. And if you're going to do all that now, but you leave a comment to tell me what to react to in the future. And if you're going to do all that now, but you hit that subscribe button and join the family, guys. But I'll talk to y'all later, man. More reactions are coming, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace!